Hello Sweet here. so today we're going to learn how to transpose percussion. Now there's a lot of interesting quirks with percussion and finale because percussion staves don't actually have the same underlying structure as finale staves. So a lot of things that we'd normally associate with finale, like you know this transpose tool, like I want to transpose it, sure, down an octave. We just cannot do that with percussion staves. So instead we have to use something slightly different. So there's first two things that transposing percussion will let you do. One, It'll let you copy rhythms from one instrument to another, and secondly, it'll let you go between like, I don't know, bass drum and snare drum or something like that. So we're going to start off by just copying this music, 20 bars, you can see if you want to input this by hand in the percussion, that'd be take a long time, and we're just going to delete Colonial because we don't need it there. And so we can see it already is on bass drum, which is nice, except we don't want it on bass drum, we want it, this to be on snare drum. So how would you normally go around doing that? Well, you can either just keep going up until you get to snare drum or you can just like click and try to find where the right there it is and just go like that over and over again but that can get really tedious so instead we're going to transpose it we're going to come over here select everything utilities transpose percussion notes nice and simple so we want to go from bass drum and we want to change those notes to snare drum Hit OK, and there you go, they're all changed. Amazing, that's exactly what we want to do. And this works even if you have notes, even if, uh, let's say, I don't believe there's any percussion notes up here, right? So let's say we wrote these notes for viola, and we wanted to still copy the rhythm down in here, and as you can see, these are all yellow because they aren't percussion notes. Again, we can come up here to transpose percussion notes. We want to select these notes, and then move it to snare drum. And we got all those notes to snare drum. We can go through all these different notes. Unfortunately, you cannot mass select all these in the hits of snare drum, but this shouldn't take too long. And now there's only two left, so I'm just gonna go find the snare drum. Yeah. There we go, snare drum. And so that's it. That's a quick little feature on how to transpose percussion notes. If you found this video at all helpful, make sure to hit the like button below. Each week I post new content about how to use Finale to its fullest. So if you don't want to miss out on any of these videos, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a new video comes out.